What's up Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars SH Figure Arts review. Um, yeah, my channel's been pretty heavy with these with this line lately. I've been pretty into buying them. <laughs> um, I'm having a blast collecting these figures. They're absolutely blowing me away. And uh, this one's no exception. I've got three, three reviews, including this one coming up. And I've got a couple other figures on the way, so it's a matter of time whether they'll show up. Um, but we've got the big three. So we're starting off with Luke, and we're going to go to Han, and then Leia. All from A New Hope. Um, these three figures are absolutely fantastic. I've got them during the week. Um, yeah, and I'm absolutely blown away. So we're going to have a quick look at the box. So normal SH Figure Arts boxes are the standard version. Picture of Luke on the side. Luke on the back. A few little images on the accessories and display options. So it's pretty simple stuff. Um, now recently I've, I've found a spot to keep my accessories. I did have them all jumbled in together. But it was very confusing to work out which hands will for which figure. So I bought a bunch of these little bags. So now I can fit all the accessories in here. Unfortunately things like lightsabers are probably a little bit too long. But uh, they still zip up nice and tight, and you can just have the sword, the blade and stuff sticking out. So I did get some bigger bags for some bigger accessories as well. So that works quite well. But uh, we'll get a look at the figure. Now this is pretty much just his standard look, how he comes out of the box. This is probably my, my preferred look. And a lot of the likeness is just fantastic. I really, really rate this figure. This is almost the uh, the farm boy Luke that I've always wanted. Uh, the Hasbro Black Series one was good uh, for the price, but the uh, looks didn't quite didn't quite hit it. But uh, so hopefully Hasbro do a retouch of that one in the future. But this one is perfect in my opinion really into this figure a lot as is the case with the majority of SH figure arts he does come with some display options so I'm just going to put him to the side there now we do get a second face a little bit happier so you can simply just switch that hair piece out with this face But again, it's a really nicely done face, and the paint apps are fantastic. We also get this option here where we get the two pieces of the blast shield. And what you simply do is you can get either of those face pieces. slot them into the pegs like so and then no I've done that wrong put the face into the front and then close that and simply pop that head off slide that one on which I haven't done a great job of but you get the point and you can have that scene on board the Millennium Falcon where Luke's starting his lightsaber training with the remote. Speaking of which, you get the remote. Which is really nicely detailed. It's got a little peg hole in it. So I'm guessing you can have a stand. I don't have a stand. It didn't come with a stand. But I'm guessing you could have this displayed on a stand. I might look into that a little bit more. But you do get this blast effect. Which that pegs into. That's a nice tight, nice tight grip. And you simply just slide that down the blade. You can have that displayed, which looks great. 
I think it looks really good. So lots of options. Of course the blade is removable from the lightsaber. And uh, he does come with three sets of hands. Comes with the two gripping hands, so you can have the lightsaber in either of them. Two open hands, so just a relaxed sort of open hand. And then the two fists. So they're pretty much the standard options you get with most SH Figure Arts figures. Um, the lightsaber hilt, I'll just show you that up close. As you can see there's a little peg hole there in the, in the bottom of the hilt. Very really nicely done. Not as detailed as some of the others and the, uh, the black bits of the grip don't stick out nearly as much as some of the others do but it does slot in his hand nicely. And that does just peg onto the belt. So you can display in that way as well. well. Let's have another look over the figure. I think the hair is done really nicely. I, th I think just the face itself looks dead on. Hair is nicely sculpted. It's got that sort of gold sheen to it. Which I've grown to like. Um, does show up nicely on camera and in photos. And uh, yeah, I wasn't entirely into it, but I've sort of, it's sort of come around a bit. Um, and I, I don't actually mind it these days. Robes are nicely sculpted. Oh, his tunic shirt. The belt's nicely done. The pouches. This little communicator, little droid communicator thing. Little buckles, sort of tan, dirty pants. Probably the only bummer here is that sort of little off colour there that didn't match with the uh, top of the pants. But the boots are nicely done. The sort of wraps around up the legs look great. It's just a just a great looking Luke Skywalker action figure. I'm I'm really happy with. I'm definitely interested to see what you guys think of this one. Um, yeah, drop a comment below, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back with Han Solo next, so stay tuned for that. Until my next video, may the force be with you.